public try to investigate if there's laws by which these things emerge and persist and uh, decay. Uh, yeah. That is possible. That should be possible if there are obvious a couple of things to rule out first. Um, you need to know where the person lives uh, and identify but where the person lives is actually really important. Um, political cycles have a humongous influence on this stuff, and you will see that in their speciation. You will see that, just to keep in mind, a human being can exist in multiple grammar field ecosystems at the same time. So one person can have this language behavior, and when it comes Friday, he has a fundamentally different language behavior. That's completely within the realm of possibility. I don't know if an egregore qualifies as a grammar, strictly as like a grammar field species. An egregore can be in multiple uh, grammar field species at the same time. That's very possible too, including grammar field species that aren't directly related. So unlike Charles Darwin evolution, where you know direct lineage is a pretty strong indicator of gene flow, in this space, um, two species that do not even have a common ancestor can influence each other. The egregore is like a hyper object almost. And these, these patterns kind of could sometimes keep each other alive in, its, in a sense. That's right. Uh, have like an equilibrium. Interesting. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, finding yeah. that equilibrium is, is really vital. Yeah. Because I still think it's a resource game underneath it all. I have to prove that though, but that's my hunch.